Hello all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chill here, and I want to give you guys my review and thoughts on McFarlane's DC Multiverse Kyle Rayner. And this Kyle Rayner was really nice, it looks really cool, it's part of that Blackest Night Wave uh, to build Strosities, and this Kyle Rayner really looks good, that scope looks awesome, the paintwork looks really good, uh, the head scope looks really good, like I said, everything is really for this is a perfect nice Kyle Rayner um the only downside of this figure I kind of wish we did get like I said more head scope uh head pieces like we switch with an angry head but you know we're gonna get a different Kyle Rayner with that angry head or somewhere to fighting like a first pack or something um but the joints on it moves perfectly the arm joints the leg joints and you can't even tell the ball joint he's really covering those ball joints up too so that's really good just it looks this figure looks really good it's really like a 9 out of 10 just it sucks the it doesn't match the other green liners the color of this looks like lime color it doesn't match the other green liner like john um uh john stewart uh hell jordan the ones we got from mcfarland so far but it does not match so and you know this is a whole team so we need all matching colors so ugh, that's kind of downside and i don't know where mcfarland got this lime color at it kind of doesn't match none of the comics even from the blackest night maybe some designs there and there maybe but not really he needs to somehow we need to get these green liners matching so hopefully we get another kyle rainer down the line that matches with the John Stewart or Hal Jordan or Hal Jordan matching and John Stewart matching Kyle Rayner somewhere down the line. And we are going to get a White Lantern, you know that one these days. A White Lantern, Kyle Rayner, you know that's going to happen. But let's throw some other Green Lanterns out there. Let's create our own wave. Like uh, four pack, you know they always call a four pack wave. And I think Guy Garden will be cool to have. Um, Simon Baz would be cool to have too as well. Simon Baz is part of that new 52 story. I believe another Green Lantern would be cool to have. Um, definitely Jessica Cruz. Jessica Cruz would be so awesome to have a Green Lantern, a female Green Lantern. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters. Definitely she popped on the new 52 when the crime syndicate caught the, the Jeff John crime syndicate version. She got Power Rings ring. That was pretty cool. I remember that story. But she will be dope. McFarlane, make me Jessica Cruz, and that Tamari to get some aliens in this Green Lantern Corp. That would be so cool to have. Um, Tamari, I think he was the one that was supposed to protect um, Krypton and then and fell to. Um, and the one to build all the figures, make a build a figure out of it, Cal Rock. Cal Rock would be so cool to have a uh, big old alien muscle Green Lantern. Be very cool. Um, and you know what would be cool too? If McFarlane give us like a Green Lantern weapon pack. You know he did that like multi uh, gun pack uh, with all those different guns. It would be cool he make a, a Green Lantern pack with all different weapons in there. That would be cool. That would be really dope. But give me your thoughts on this DC McFarlane's Kyle Rayner. Do you like it? Do you hate it? You think um, it should be better? They're going to make a better one? Um, but give me your thoughts below. I'd like to hear it. But thank you all for watching my video. I love talking to you all about some toys. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to talk to you all next time. Have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.